Hey everybody, it's Dave Chamberlain with dbwproductions.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to use the old version of BFD, which is BFD 1.5, and Digital Performer. I'm currently using Digital Performer 7.24 for this example, but this works in any version of DP from 5 up to 8, as far as I know, and maybe even some older ones, but uh, for today we'll use 7. The first thing I've done is made an instrument track using BFD. Now the key to this, and I'll show you over here, is I picked the all version of the plugin, not the stereo. When I play it, I'm just getting the overhead channels of the plugin itself. So let's go ahead and look at this. As I turn these down, I get nothing. So I want to be able to access the direct channels. The first thing I do is I go to my bundles window in DP, which is under studio, down at bundles. I scroll over here to where BFD is. I'm going to add a couple bundles. Let's add three bundles and make these mono. Click and label. Kick, snare, hat. Finally, we'll go back to BFD. I need to click on this question mark icon to launch BFD's manual. I go to the output options panel. And now I can see a table of all these. These numbers are going to coincide with Digital Performer's bundle window. Right now, the overhead channels, if you look down at the All column here, are going out of channels 1 and 2 in DP, which is correct. That's what we're hearing. We want to look at the kick drum, which in this case is, says I. That's for the in mic, or the inside mic, of the kick drum. It's going into channel 7, and that's going to be number 7 in your bundles window. So let's go over here. Bundles. Go to the kick. Go to 7, click on that. Now that dot moved to 7. Let's look and see where snare and hat are supposed to be. Snare T, that means for top, that's what I'm going to look at. It says number 10, and hat is number 11. Go back to DP. So I click on 10 where the snare is, and hat on 11. Okay, the next move is to make a couple auxiliary tracks underneath here. So we go to Project, Add Track, Aux Track, do that three times. And label these, Kick, Snare, Hat. We want to choose those inputs as well. Now when I play, I'm getting some direct sound. Looking at my mixer here, if I turn down this, which is our overheads, in fact, I'll go ahead and label that. So I keep everything organized. There we go. Overheads back up. Let's look at the plug-in. Okay, a couple things about the plugin. I'm not going to get too in depth here, but get the basics. This knob here, this trim knob, that's what's that's what's sending the amount of kick drum to the overhead and the room mics. So I turn that off. Turn those off for now. It dries it up. So you can kind of govern how much ambience you want. Another thing to note is that I'm only getting one mic of the kick drum right now, which is the in mic. So this knob here governs how much is going, how much we're hearing of the kick in. Right now, we go all the way to the out. We're only not getting anything because we're just hearing the out mic, which is not assigned yet. Same with the snare drum. I'm just getting the top mic. Bottom is nothing. So we could go ahead and make some more channels accordingly if you want to have individual channels. Or what I like to do is I want to have both the kick in and out just going through the one auxiliary track. So I'll click on this button, which is your output assignments. Looking at the kick column here, looking at the green. Green are your main outputs, by the way. We have kick in is going to kick in, which is correct. We don't want to touch that. Leave that alone. Kick out is going to the kick out mic. So I'm going to change that to kick in mic. And the same with the snare drum. I'm looking at snare. The snare top is going to the snare top. The snare bottom is going to snare bottom. I'm going to change that to snare top. 
It should be the same now. Now I want to go to here. Here's the kick drum in. There's my output mic. My out mic. Outside mic. Let me get that correct. Here's the snare drum top mic. Snare bottom. So you can kind of blend those. Kind of simplifies things a little bit. Okay. I'm going to move it forward here and show you my final template. I'll be right back. All right, here's my final template that I made. I've ended up putting all the individual drums into their own auxiliary tracks. If you look at my bundle window here, you can see the whole line of them. Now, I'm missing two of them, and that's because I simplified with the kick and the snare. So if you did all of them, this would be like a straight diagonal. You would have a kick top mic, a kick bottom. You'd have the kick in mic and the kick out mic. But uh, as I said before, I changed that in BFD to make it a little bit easier. All the toms are out in their own uh, mic, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can look at my mixer window here, reflecting everything. And here's the track window. So I kept this project pretty simple so far. I just added a plate reverb as an auxiliary, and I'm sending some snare to it, if you look over here. And you could do the same to the toms. I'm going to add a little reverb to the toms. Let's do that right now real quick. Just exaggerate them. And just a reminder, over here in BFD controls the ambience. That's what's sending to the ambient mic. So the toms always seem to get too much room on them for me. So I turn these down. I'm just going to hear the plate reverb. A little nicer sounding. The final thing I did is I just made a master track for the drums. And with that, I can kind of have, turn off the whole drum set if I want to. I'll play this loop for you so you can hear it. We're just hearing the reverb send now. I can also, I can also affect the whole drums. I have a little bit of compression on them. The master. There it's off. I can squeeze it. And that's it. You can go to mix to your heart's content with this setup, add whatever plugins you'd like to, simplify if you'd like to, read the manual, of course, and you'll learn a little bit more of the ins and outs of how you can route the mics, simplify things, do whatever you want to do. Thanks a lot for watching, and remember to go to dbwproductions.com or recordla.com for all your high-end music production needs. <laughs>